What's going on guys, Pepperbell here, bringing you kind of a special celebratory video of sorts about reaching 1,000 subscribers. Talk a little bit about that in a second. The game you're seeing right now is Hotline Miami. It's actually a gift from a friend of mine who gifted this to me through Steam, which was actually kind of convenient. He goes by the name of Baron Brave. He's been in a few of my videos as well. You've probably seen me kill him repeatedly all the time, which is the, the normal thing to see happening with him. You know, he, he just dies by my hand every day of the week because you know that's just how I roll but yeah he actually gifted me this game through Steam and it got me thinking like this is actually a really really good way of like doing like Christmas gifts you know with the holiday sales and all that stuff I was like it actually makes a whole lot of sense to actually just gift people games through Steam because who doesn't like playing video games video games are cool right and who doesn't want to get a free game showing up in your library and you're like holy crap this is awesome I didn't have to pay for this yeah. you know you're all pumped up then, of course, you still spend money on the Steam sales, and then you go bankrupt. And by bankrupt, I mean you end up just living with no money. And that's uh, bankrupt's like a business issue when you're out of money. I don't even know why that even translates into civilian life. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, 1,000 subscribers. Massive milestone I finally met. Super ecstatic. Really happy about it. I want to thank you guys, especially within, like, grueling detail of why I appreciate it. And not just going to be like those mandatory videos that most people release like, Oh, I have met 100 subscribers. Oh, I finally reached 2 billion. You know, and like the standard like, I love you. You guys are great. Stick around and hopefully continue to watch my everyday wasting time videos to like, you know, make you stick around and watch content, I guess. I'm actually going to be telling you exactly why I appreciate your subscriptions from a personal standpoint. And that's because I myself... Like to watch YouTube videos. Holy shit, mind equals blown. I have I bet you guys none of you guys knew that. None of you knew I watched YouTube videos. That's like that's that's just so abnormal for me. But yeah, anyway, so I watch YouTube videos and I tend to subscribe very minimally. That's not even a word. I don't subscribe at all. <laughs> like there's maybe like twenty people I'm subscribed to, and that's only because I'm really into their videos and I don't actually tend to like to look them up all the time and some guys I used to originally just you know log on to YouTube and then type in a channel name and go to their channel and look at their most recent upload if I wanted to you know see what they came out with within the last week that's how I usually rolled I usually just did that I never actually subscribed to people I never actually liked videos very much I never even left a comment I kind of was just that anonymous guy that's just like uh oh, one view there you go that was a funny ass video but no one's he's not the person's not going to know that I appreciated the video even though I laughed my ass off during it or I really enjoyed it the guy's not going to have any clue, he's just going to assume, you know, he's, I'm just one of those anonymous viewers. And that's how I usually watched content for the longest time, and like I said, I don't really tend to subscribe unless it's content I really, really enjoy. A few guys I can probably name off is Critical, I really, really like Critical's videos, I anticipate his videos, like, all the time. He's, like, probably, if, I guess you could say, if, I don't really like to use the, the, the term fan, even for, like, people that subscribe to me. Just because I find the word fan is kind of, like, demeaning, degrading to some degree, like, it's just... I'm not like fucking Lady Gaga or like Madonna and have like, oh my fans, <laughs> you know, like no. You guys are viewers, you're people, you're, hopefully you're smart, <laughs> like you're not retarded. The vast majority of you guys actually have some pretty good comments when it comes to like intellectual like debates on games and game mechanics and opinions and stuff, which I really like. I love getting into like the nitty gritty of games and seeing what people, what their opinions are on them, like what people think of mechanics and certain, you know, certain things, because everyone has their own uh, tastes toward games and the way the mechanics and the games function so that's usually what I tend to to really like like you know like the Elder Scrolls games some people are like oh, Elder Scrolls is so buggy and stupid but then everyone's like yeah but that makes the game you know and everyone has their opinion and it's always interesting to hear what people have to say about it it's probably pretty much the reason why I got into this whole YouTube thing anyway I just I love gaming and I love to actually be able to share my gaming experiences with people and I like to have just debates and discussions about games because I, I just love the gaming industry and it's just it's such a huge thing to me I love it so much it's like my ultimate passion so getting into this on YouTube and hitting a thousand subscribers and growing my channel and all that it's incredibly exciting especially ever since like Total Biscuit like my video I've mentioned that a bajillion fucking times and then of course getting a uh, N squared or collective digital studios to contact me and actually have them sign up with them as a, a network partner which was pretty exciting as well Lots of things happened in a very short time, and basically the reason why I say that I really appreciate your subscriptions is because 
I like I said, I don't subscribe. I'm a viewer. I don't tend to do that kind of thing. Sometimes they'll go into channels and you'll see them. They'll have like that that list in their description, their channel description, where it's like it'll have a whole list, like 50 subs, 100 subs, 150 subs, 200 subs, and it just keeps going on and on and on. There's little brackets, and then whenever they meet the goal, they put an X in the bracket. You know, like there's a lot of channels that do that. I personally just find that's kind of like that's silly. Come on, like don't do that. Kind of it wastes, you know, good precious description space. Like me, I actually use my description. Smartly, I, I put the description or I put the specs of my PC because that's what a lot of people tend to ask me. Even when they look at my channel videos, I'll be like, you know, they leave in the comment section, they're like, oh, what's your specs? I want to kind of get gauge an idea of what I can expect with my computer. And I'm like, well, I'll tell you here, but for future references, you can always go and look at my channel description and possibly subscribe if you're not already subscribed, if you want to see more content, stuff like that. And that's, you know, usually how you kind of go about the whole self promotion thing, which is another thing I don't like to do, which is self promotion makes me feel guilty, makes me feel like just a dirty, whoremongering, I don't know, I just, I don't feel good about, you know, you see those people that go on, like, other popular videos, and they'll be like, I know everybody does this, and, you know, it's very frequent to hear this, but I want you to check out my channel, and hopefully you'll appreciate it, and I'll really appreciate it, and we'll all have a jolly good time, and, you know, people always leave those comments like, oh, I know people do this all the time, well, yeah, damn right everyone does it all the time, because everyone's desperate for attention to some degree on YouTube, everyone kind of wants their content to be seen, and everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people tend to just leave those comments on videos, and it just makes people really don't like that person, it just makes them want to do exactly the opposite, they're like, wow, you're just really annoying, you're just here desperate for attention, that's all you want, you're going around trying to be famous, and like this person and make to YouTube monies and abuse the system and all that that's so that's not only the really that's not only the reason why I avoid self-promotion it's just I, I just don't like to do self-promotion period it just it makes me feel guilty it makes me not feel good it's like it's like tooting your own horn all the time who the hell wants to do that it just it doesn't feel you know like I'm not gonna be going up to my friends at a bar later and be like guys I just made these sick fucking eggs this morning man they were so scrumptious and yolky and uh, it was great you know like I'm not gonna do that like or oh man I just took a massive shit or <laughs> like <laughs> actually that happens people do that all the time if, you, if you're a male if you're a male watching this you know exactly what I'm talking about guys tend to brag about the size of their dimps but yeah so I don't tend to do like self-promoting stuff like that I just try to avoid it at all costs because the way I look at it is if your content is good you know if you if you make good stuff and people like it then the people will come there's actually like a phrasing that goes with that I don't know exactly what it is but it's like pretty much along the line of that it's just like oh you make good content the people will come people will be there to see what it is you have to offer and so far it's kind of been what I've been doing and it's been working I, I tend to like let my content for it speak speak for itself which to an extent, it's kind of difficult on YouTube because it's kind of hard for people to actually find your video. It's not easy, which is what I'm told all the time. It's actually very difficult to, you know, for people just to, like, miraculously find you. That's why a lot of bigger YouTube channels that are very, very popular now had a lot of help from other big YouTube channels. Some people actually started after me when I originally started making YouTube videos. And they, like, have hundreds of thousands of subscribers now. When you compare it to me, you're like, holy shit, that person obviously did something right. And a lot of people that are in my situation, including myself, is like, how did they, how? You know, you're trying to think about, like, they in, like, a year, they got, like, 100,000 subs. And you're like, how the hell, does, how is that even possible? It's insane. Like, that's crazy accomplishment. And, like, they're incredibly good and lucky to have that. And, you know, they should take advantage, or not take advantage of it. But, you know what I mean? Just, like, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy what they accomplished. And no hate towards them at all. I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, it's, they've obviously done something right. And usually it has to do with them actually having help of some kind it's actually impo it's impossible to like start from scratch by yourself with absolutely no experience or not like not that much help and immediately hit like a hundred thousand subs in like five months like it's, it's not going to happen like it's you, you need or unless you have a really insanely incredible video that goes viral and just completely takes the freaking internet by storm that is usually how you're also going to become huge is having a massive it's kind of like a uh having a hits a hit single you know like you release a song and it's a hit and everyone likes it so suddenly your band's on the you know, on the front of like every radio station and people know about you, so they start checking out your band to see what else you have to offer. It's kind of the same idea with videos. You hit that one viral video and all of a sudden everyone's jumping all over your channel, checking you out. Same kind of idea. Other than that, it's usually usually it's usually related to shout outs and help and stuff like that, which I've experienced that on a 
pretty huge scale. I mean, I've had Total Biscuit like my video, which brought a lot of traffic to that video and got me potential subscribers, which was pretty insane. I really, really enjoyed it. It was fun. And it was kind of overwhelming at first because I was like, holy crap, this is like, I have to, there's a lot more people watching my content now. And it's going to be like insanely hard to, I mean, like, it, there's going to be a lot more criticism now because that's also what comes with more views, with more people, there's a lot more criticism. And you have to learn to take that, which I can easily take because I actually like feedback. And it's, it could be stressful to some degree. And at first I was kind of like, oh, this is overwhelming. But now I'm like, okay, this is, this, I can do this. This is not bad at all. It's kind of just like, I shouldn't change a thing except for improvements. I shouldn't be like, okay, suddenly I'm going to make montages, you know, and just start like eating beans while doing backflips on a rhinoceros. I don't know where I'm going with that, but you know what I mean? Like just... I'm not going to change what it is I'm doing as a whole, but I want to continue to try and improve myself to make content more fun for you guys and more enjoyable because that's what I'm also here for is just pure entertainment. I like to entertain people and make people laugh and make people informed on things and just give them information and kind of clue them in and stuff. And I love just talking about stuff related to this kind of thing. That makes sense. Regardless, I reached a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate it. And like I've, pretty sure I've said this about a thousand times, but I mean, I know what it takes to subscribe to people because I don't do it myself. That's my point. So the fact that you actually took the time to subscribe to me and watch my content is, it just means a lot because like I said, I'm a stubborn guy when it comes to people asking me to subscribe. I tend not to do that myself. So that was the point I'm trying to make. So I know, I know I am one of you. That's the only reason, that's the only real way I can describe it, is just I really, really, really appreciate you guys sticking around and supporting me. Hopefully you'll continue to stick around until I do something that really makes you angry. In that case, you can punch me in the face, but you have to find me in person first, which you won't, because I'm invisible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and here's to future content and the future subscribers and the growing of my channel. To the next 1,000, hopefully, see how that goes. Take care, guys.